بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو پی ایم ڈی سی آن لائن لیکچر روم دس از حافظ مہر الائی لیکچر ان فزکس پی ایم ڈی سی بوائز حیات آباد ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از فرام فرسٹ ایئر فزکس چیپٹر نمبر ٹین اینڈ دا ٹاپک از انٹروپی بفور گوئنگ ان ٹو دا ڈیٹیلز آف انٹروپی جسٹ گو تھرو دا ہسٹری اینڈ ہسٹری ٹیلز اس دیٹ دا ٹرم انٹروپی is from Greek language and it was first of all coined in 1865 by a German physicist, Rodolf Clausius. Clausius explained and defined entropy as the disorder of a system or entropy can also be thought as the measure of randomness of a system. So we can say that the randomness or the disorder of the system can be considered as entropy so when we are going to explain entropy this example will really help you to understand the phenomena as you can see the figure there are two colored balls the blue balls and the red balls separated by the separation and both the balls are regularly arranged so it means that there is less entropy or zero entropy now if we remove this separation and shake the balls if you remove the separation and shake the box so these balls will be mixed up and as a result we'll get this if you can see this image in this image all the balls are combined mixed up it means that by giving energy the randomness increases in the last image there was no randomness you can see in this image there is no randomness no disorder but now in this image there is randomness the disorder is increased it means that by giving energy the disorder increases means that the entropy increases so with the energy entropy always increases now we can also define entropy mathematically So mathematically entropy can be defined as the ratio of the measure of system's thermal energy per unit temperature. The relation is given as del S is equal to del Q divided by T where del S shows change in entropy. S is used for the representation of entropy while del Q is the heat transferred and T is an absolute temperature. Now we have two types of entropy. number 1 is positive entropy and number second is negative entropy so positive entropy is when heat is absorbed or added to a system means that when you are giving heat to a system so its entropy will be increased so the entropy will be considered as positive while on the other hand when heat is removed or taken out of the system then this sort of entropy will be considered as negative entropy now let's go for a slight expression if you can see the figure there are two systems t1 and t2 like t1 is the temperature of system 1 and t2 is the temperature of system 2 let's consider that t1 is a high temperature reservoir or a high temperature system while t2 is a low temperature system and q is a heat transferred from t1 to t2 now if you can observe that if the heat is moving from t1 to t2 it means that t2 is getting heat and t1 is giving heat so as the t1 is giving heat so heat will be removed from t1 so the entropy of t1 will be decreased so the relation for the entropy of t1 will be s1 is equal to minus q divided by t1 while on the other hand t2 is getting energy so the t2 entropy of t2 will be increased so the increase in entropy is given by s2 is equal to q divided by t2 and you can also find the change in entropy by the given relation that is s final minus s initial so s final is s2 and s initial is s1 so putting the values of s2 and s1 you can get the value as you can see the last relation there is a unit for entropy and the si unit for entropy is joule per kelvin which is represented as capital j slash capital k if you have any questions you can also contact us 
uh, through our email or you have any suggestions, you can also contact us on our email. And that is pmdc.suggestions at the rate of qc.edu.pk. Or you can also contact us through WhatsApp. The, and the contact number is 0312 Thank you so much.